Welcome back. I'm Connie Sokol, your host, and we have another fabulous DTLC leader and guest today that you get to know so that you can decide if you want to connect with us and help you become an influential writer, speaker, and media presence for him. Today, we have our very own book mom, Rochelle Christensen. Hi, Rochelle. Thanks for coming in. Hi. We're so happy to have her. And I will tell you why, because she is a near and dear friend as well. We have been compadres in the writing world. We've actually co-authored a book together. We've been part of an anthology series together. We still love each other. That's a really huge piece (laughs) for writers. And I just want you to know this woman knows her stuff. She is a fantastic book mom in the sense that she gets books. She lives it. She breathes it. She drinks it. She sleeps and thinks about it. Her whole being is all wired for how to effectively get a message out there, the message that is core for you. And I'm going to prove that to you by her beautiful bio, if you can just bear with me with the official bio. But she is an award-winning author of over 20 books. I think 22 by now. Is that right? Yes. Yes. And a mother of five. Yeah, but don't get disheartened because she is real about how she goes about things. And that's what's beautiful. She can make it all happen and does it on the daily because she's also an organizer of 75 plus chickens that are raised annually by her family. And she knows how to move sprinkler pipe. I'm just saying, and looks fabulous doing it. She (laughs) enjoys online marketing and harnessing the power of social media. She has organized blog tours and book blasts and have shared her secrets for low cost internet marketing with a multi-million dollar worldwide company, publishers, and dozens of authors, including New York Times bestseller, David Farland and Celeste. Celebrity Meryl Osmond. She is a beautiful active member of LDS Storymaker since 2010, and she's filled several roles on that. We've had so much fun speaking at that conference together. She's been on the conference committee and the board of directors, and her love of learning drives her to continue to attend conferences to improve every aspect of her writing business, and that is amen to the men. And then she carves out time in between all of that to homeschool her children. Do you think that she can teach you how to write in a busy life? Oh, yes, she can. I can tell you that. And she works as a writer and marketing coach and consultant for authors. She graduated cum laude from Utah State University with a degree in psychology and a minor in music, which she uses in her writing characters. Welcome, Rochelle. Are you guys excited? I know you are. (laughs) Thank you. Let's have a little get to know you chat right now. I just wanted to start right off. How in the world did you start off with all this writing? How did you even get into it? Because that's a big undertaking and you've been consistent for years on this. It has been a lifelong pursuit starting back when I was a kid and I took my little steno notebook out into the pasture and wrote poems. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school and graduated in psychology and I worked in that field for a little while and I didn't really love it. And so then I started looking into writing and taking classes and just I have been attending conferences actively with starting with my second baby in mm-hmm. tow and then writing the whole time during having all of those kids. And then finally publishing my book, my first book in 2010 and just working from there. And I just, I really do love it. And I love the challenge and how it's always evolving. Love and that creative outlet, right? As you're raising kids, it's you know, the story's always simmering in your head. And I love when you say going to conferences, even with your second baby. We actually went to a conference with Dave Farland and we were down there and I bring in my baby into the conference room. And I'm like, wow, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to re- reconfigure this. But <laughs> you do what you got to do, right? And I know mm-hmm. you've written so much of yours is fiction, but you also went into nonfiction. Tell us what about that segue. What happened with that? Well, what's really interesting, most people don't know is nonfiction is what got me into the publishing world. So Mm -hmm. I had written fiction and then I experienced miscarriages and I just couldn't find any information to really soothe my heart from being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint. I There was a lot of things, but nothing really factual. And so I researched and just kept studying and actually my nonfiction book was about coping with miscarriage. And that was the very first publishing contract that I received. And then it just so happened with the way the publishing world works. I I ended up getting a fiction contract and that one came out first, but that put me on the nonfiction track. And, uh, and then that's how it worked for the book that we co-wrote, you know, what every sixth grader needs to know was just talking and, and finding an issue where we wanted to research and then share that with others. I love that because what I've seen is that 
you have been able to listen to that prompting of, I feel the need to create this book or write this book, and then be able to look at life and say, okay, this is how I can make that happen in real time. And if I don't know how, I'm going to go research how I can do that and then come back and apply it so I can make that happen. And that I think is one of your beautiful gifts of making that happen. What do you think this is that the women that are listening, what is this drive that is in so many people to write that book? Where do you think that comes from this need to express that? Well, I think it definitely comes from him. You know, we are creative beings and just the incredible spiritual thoughts that we get, this inspiration. Uh, I was actually in the temple when I first felt the inspiration that I should write a book on coping with miscarriage. I have like a little temple notebook that I keep in my bag that I jot down notes and I jotted it down and it took me a while from there to, to embrace to do it. Yeah. And, and just seeing how that works and how I really feel led that things have happened for a reason and whether it's fiction or nonfiction or articles, but I do, I think that he's always giving us opportunities to share. And he has so much confidence in me way more than I do. And if I would just have a little more confidence, I'd probably listen to those promptings faster. (laughs) I think that's a huge piece. I mean, we see that in working with women, particularly in getting their message out and they've got their focus on their family first, which is what we encourage. But the Lord has always helped us to have those tools to be mom ands. And I see the way that you've been able to piecemeal all these other pieces and letting him plug you in and out. So you've spoken at conferences, you've written your own books, you've done the publishing contracts, all those things. What are you excited to give to the women? How do you feel that you can best help them as our book mom? Well, I'm excited because I, I feel like I really epitomize what you're talking about with mom and that that has, I've been a stay at home mom the whole time. And that's always been my driver. How can I continue to be a stay at home mom? And I was working to earn income from my books so that I could do that. But then I branched out and I was able to experience all of these other different parts of the book world. It, it really goes into everything, you know, the speaking and teaching. And so I feel like that I can help these women because I understand a lot of those challenges that they're facing, those doubts that they're facing, the overwhelm, the, you know, just the fatigue <laughs> and uh, to, to keep going and be able to find out what works uh, for them and understand that it's going to be a unique process for them. And that's what I hope to convey that in all the teaching that we do and the guiding that they will know for themselves, the one path that's going to work for them. Love. And I love that because you have all these tools on your book mom tool belt, and you have such a gift of being able to hear someone, what they're needing, where they're stuck and being able to say, here's some tools. Here's this tool that will help you get to that next step, or here's this thing to reconsider and, and now apply in a different way. And that is such a beautiful gift. And I also see you as a book mom, being able to have that gift of helping each person take their project and connect with them on it, that this is a baby. It really is writing is like the birth of a baby and, and helping them with that baby in that transition period of where you don't want to do it anymore. And then taking it through the three steps that we are doing, which is the right and well, the right editing, and then the publishing and marketing. So helping them to be able to move through that process to actually have a published book and ideally get them onto that bestseller um, goal. So that's fantastic. And you are the gal to do it. So is there anything that you would love the women to know about you that they may not know that makes you an even better option as a book mom that will be a benefit and blessing to them? Wow. Okay. I think one of the things that helps is I'm really determined. Some people call it stubborn. (laughs) (laughs) And I, I just, when I decide to do something, I am going to go after it and I'm not going to let anything discourage me. And so when I was working on my dream of being published, I was just collecting those rejection letters. And I was like, that's okay. That's another one in my file. That's okay. That's another one, you know? And so I feel like that I can talk to these women and, and in our coaching calls and things that we do when they are hitting that wall and really feeling like they just don't know if they can continue, I can help them dive deep and find that inner driver that will keep them going because I, 
I feel like I've kind of run the gambit in the, in the publishing world, you know, going from a small publisher to a bigger one and then becoming a hybrid author and then getting divorced in between that and then uh, getting remarried and now I have an even larger family and still being able to kind of pick these pieces and decide what is the most important thing to go for and achieve my goal. I love it. And I can say additionally, all with that disciple thought leader lens, that's one of the beautiful things that I think has connected us through the years as writers, as friends, as, you know, mothers in crime kind of a thing is that everything we do is strengthened through that disciple thought leader lens. We do it for him. And that is such a difference in the writing world when you have that focus and you have people who are guiding and mentoring you who have that same focus because it will eliminate strange roads and it will help you focus on that road and path that the Lord really wants you to take. And you get the support to keep taking that so that there's no distractions on that. Absolutely love. It is a delight. Where can the women reach you if they want to know more about you? They can hop on my website, rochellechristensen.com. And there's quite a bit of information there on books and the different things I'm involved in. Fantastic. And as always, you can check it out at our Purpose Filled Women group on Facebook and contact Connie on ConnieSocal.com if you want to know any more about her and you can't seem to find her. We would love to help you. We have our tracks that we do with our retreats and our teaching tracks, our speaking, our writing. And she is our book mom over our book track that will help you write and publish and market your book. Thanks so much, Rochelle. We appreciate it. Thank you. And ladies, we encourage you, if you love these, go check out the other DTLC women that we have that are coaching and instructing you on how to move forward in your goals so that you can right now, this year, become an influential writer, speaker, and media presence for him.